today we are going to learn about an artist with deep connections to our community and museum, Marty Vinograd. Marty entered the art world through quilt making. The artist recalls images of quilt making were imprinted in my nervous system, cutting, fitting, and pinning to see if it's right before gluing down. In some instances, I cut without looking. I move to the art piece and glue instantly, and it is right. So inside my head, the image arises to claim its own. Working in this manner, she was able to paint without paint. She applied the same principles of quilting, piecing an assortment of scraps and materials together to her mixed media collages, including a number of unique portraits. The artistic challenge she faced was visualizing the likeness of her subject in her mind's eye using string, feather, yarn, thread, and snips of fabric, paper, leather, beads, and any other material that would come in reach of her imagination. Check out her trees in our Seymour Lawrence collection of American art. What materials do you see? Finograd used gold, copper, and silver leaf. How is each tree different? Why do we think Finograd chose these mediums and materials? Do the materials contribute to the overall texture? Are any materials used unexpectedly? Let's head back to the studio to create our own piece inspired by Marty Vinograd's tree. Hey y'all, it's officially fall. To celebrate the first day of fall, September 22nd, we are going to create some fall trees inspired by Marty Vinograd. First, let's grab our materials a black piece of paper or cardstock, oil pastels or crayons, scraps of tissue paper, cut paper and sequins, or whatever other collage materials you may have, some glue, and a pair of scissors. Let's get started. For our first step, use your oil pastels to draw out your tree. Now that you've drawn your tree, grab your collage materials and glue them on. Great job, everyone. Remember to send a picture to us on Instagram, and we'll see you next time.